Okay, today I'm going to show you how to dual boot Windows 7 with Windows Vista or XP. This works with both. So before you do anything, go to your start menu, right click on computer, and click on manage. Yeah, I know, I know. So, I got this window, so you'd want to go to storage, disk management, so right here are all of your stuff, so look, it shows me right here, um, all of my drivers, or, and hard disks, so right here is data, there's data it's right here that's where I made for the partition from those two gigabytes so I made a partition for Windows 7 this one's the DVD drive right here this is the recover HP recovery this is Windows Vista I'm just gonna change that name no no I'm gonna change it and this one is Windows 7 so, you can do this if you really want it. Click on an operating, or click on a hard disk that has a lot of memory that you're sure you're not going to need all that memory. So, this was my extra. So, what you need to do is you need to right click on it and shrink volume. To do that, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna shrink it. It says enter the amount of space, and I don't have any available space because since I did a partition. So then, once you do that, you're gonna right click and then you're gonna put X. Wait, mm -hmm. oh yeah, then you're gonna put extend volume. And then it's going to tell you to make a partition and it's going to format the hard disk. Once it does that, when it's completed, you exit all this, all this. It's totally safe. I was even scared of doing it, but I was like, eh. So then, what you'd want to do, sorry, you'd want to get Daemon tools. So, Dame, Damon Tools. So, the first one, they click download, it downloads. So, you know what, I'm just going to have it um, as a direct download in the description. So, then, you need the release candidate. So, my Microsoft.com, Windows 7, download. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put description for this link. So what you need to do is scroll down. You download a 32-bit version, download 64-bit version, doesn't matter. I have 64-bit English go. So to me to sign in, you need to make a Windows, a Microsoft account. So I did. So sign in. Now this takes a minimum of five to ten minutes, not much. So Windows 7 release candidate 64 bit product key. So they'll give you the product key, so you must write it down somewhere. So installation instructions, you don't need this. Cause it's just gonna be quick and easy. So what you're gonna do is click download now. Now what this is gonna go small. The window's gonna go small. Once Java loads up, there you go. It went small, it's gonna tell you where do you want to save it. I'm not gonna save it. I'm going to push cancel because I already have it. 
So then once you do that, click desktop. You go down to Daemon Tools. Click on it. I'm going to mount the drive. So I did that. So you're going to click on device zero. No media. So you're going to click on So then what you do is you scroll down right here. I'm going to click on it. Now it says right here run setup. That's what you can do. You're going to run the setup. So I'm going to click on it. Yes. Now I'm going to only go a couple steps with you guys. I'm not going to go very far. So Windows 7 install now. It's copying temporary files. won't take very long and the setup is going starting it's really getting mad because it's taking a little too long So right here it says get important information from installation. No, I'm not gonna do that because I don't have it. So if you're gonna upgrade it, go ahead, but by all means back up your files. What you're gonna do with the partition is you're gonna click custom and install it. That's what all you need to do is click custom and click the partition. So right here is the Windows 7, click next, that's it. Click the partition you made, and that's all. No. Say, so that's it. That's all for today. Well, wait, I'm not really done yet, sorry. So once that happens, it's going to dual boot. It's going to start the dual boot. And there's going to be a little boot up screen. So it's going to be really cool. So it's gonna, every time you turn on your computer, it's going to tell you would you which operating system would you like to use. Ooh. Sorry about that. And you could pick between Windows 7 and Vista or XP. So, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.